Well, students we know have been returning to class and now they're going back this morning after two teenagers were stabbed yesterday in the South Bay. Still a lot of unanswered questions for parents and students as police and school district continue their investigation. Today in the Bay's Ginger Kanahiro Saab is live at James Lick High School in San Jose. Uh, Ginger, no arrests yet, right? That's right, Scott and Laura. No arrests yet have been made uh, in relation to the stabbing that happened here at James Lick High School uh, in San Jose yesterday. You know, students at this high school have not been in their classrooms for too long. School started about two weeks ago and already a violent disruption that led to a stabbing that led to a lockdown here and students and parents feeling anxious about returning to the classrooms today. Like, I want to know if it's like... Someone went inside, someone, it was from inside, or like, there's too many questions, and I want to like answers. That same mother says her daughter is scared to come back to school this morning after two of her peers were stabbed at James Lake High School in the middle of third period classes. This is the video that's been shared by students to NBC Bay Area. You can see two altercations that eventually led to a stabbing. Witnesses tell us they believe one student was stabbed in the back, the other in the arm. And I seen my teacher run outside, and then she was like, uh, she was on the walkie-talkie. She was like, "Oh, there's a fight, there's a fight." And I went outside, and then I seen people jump, two people getting jumped from our school. And after she was like, "Get out, get paper towels, because there's like a lot of blood." Eastside High School District has sent this letter out to families informing them of what happened, informing them of the incident and offering mental health services. Now at last night's board meeting, President Lorena Chavez said that the district is working with law enforcement and looking into what can be done to prevent situations like this in the future. She said the district will be assessing its safety needs. Again, police have made no arrests yet, but police officers were taken off patrol across Across this district several years ago, it is unclear if at this point, you know, bringing them back is uh, one of the options that's being discussed. Both the police and the district have not confirmed if all persons involved yesterday were students at this high school. What we do know is that both of the victims in the stabbing are in stable condition this morning. We're live in San Jose, Ginger Conajero Saab, NBC Bay Area News.